Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, stories, and innovations from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming at you live. That's right, Justin. We are live today from beautiful Austin, Texas, home of the Longhorns, right? It's home of the Longhorns. That's correct. Okay. It's home of the Longhorns. And I've been told that we're keeping Austin weird. And we're keeping it weird at the Data Cloud USA uh, uh, event co-located with Metro Connect. And this good looking guy to my right is Mr. Justin Loritz. Justin is the product manager, large diesel at Relco. Justin, welcome to JSA TV. Good morning, Dean. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. Now, Justin, we have spoke to probably a half dozen of uh, your colleagues there at Relco, but this is the first time we've had the pleasure of speaking with you. So for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell us a little bit about Relco and specifically about your role at the company? Yeah, thanks. Uh, so Relco is a, uh, a diverse company that we, we do a lot in power solution uh, opportunities here for, for the data center mm -hmm. industry and a lot of other mission critical applications. Uh, my role specifically is on our diesel backup power side of the business, uh, and I, uh, I oversee uh, our large diesel segment here in North America, which covers everything from about 700 kilowatts up to our 4,000 kilowatt genset range of products. Uh, so we are responsible for new product development, integration, uh, customer feedback, making sure that we enhance our products to ensure that we're meeting the application needs of a diverse and growing and ever-changing market. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're ensuring that we uh, provide the best solutions uh, to those to those uh, customers. Uh, I've been with the organization for uh, a little over 18 years um, uh, and several different roles. So you started the, when you were four? I, I, I wish, <laughs> yeah, right? No, uh, but it's been, uh, it's been a great journey, a great journey, and uh, it's been a fantastic business. And uh, yeah, we're glad to be here to, to talk with you guys and, and other customers and, and anything we can do to provide uh, backup power to the, uh, to the industry. We're going to be talking a lot about power over the next I'm two sure days. I am 100% yep. um, sure of that. But one of the things that was most interesting to me is your data set, the data center dynamics um, event, the innovation day. Um, why don't you tell um, our viewers a little bit about Innovation Day and about your role and a little bit about that event specifically? Absolutely. Yeah. Innovation Day is a, a virtual event that we're uh, we're doing. We're partnering with Data Center Dynamics mm -hmm. uh, and it'll be... Uh, We've heard of them. I think yeah. they're walking around here somewhere, Absolutely. everywhere. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So this event will be hosted on uh, September 23rd. Okay. It'll be a live event that's hosted online. Uh, we're going to cover uh, a, a couple topics, right? Uh, really some, some key in, uh, industry discussions that are happening right now. Really talking about the importance of EPDs or environmental product declarations. And these are documents that help define, you know, the, the total life cycle um, environmental impact mm -hmm. of, of a product from, from construction through its use life, uh, useful life yeah. and, uh, and everything. So talk a little bit about what we at Relco are doing with the, uh, the EPDs and how we're publishing those and sharing them with the industry and what they mean to the, uh, to the end user. Additionally, we're going to talk about a reduction in fuel consumption and emissions levels by controlling how you manage your generator's maintenance programs. Mm -hmm. Uh, you think about a standby generator. Typically it is just doing that standing by waiting for the power to go <laughs> Here when you need me. Exactly. Yeah. So the main, uh, you know, times that these units are actually running and creating emissions is during the maintenance and, uh, and exercise opportunities of these mm -hmm. gentes. So anything you can do to reduce that is going to be a reduction in emissions, reduction in fuel consumption, which is going to save the, uh, the end user, obviously, money and uh, from a cost perspective, but also, uh, you know, it's going to be a much, uh, a much better uh, emissions control method to, uh, to minimizing emission, uh, emissions to the environment from the, uh, from the diesel genset. For sure. And then lastly, we're going to talk about how uh, we have some hybrid energy solutions that are supporting the growth in AI data centers, right? Really speaking to how our Clark Energy Group is, is partnering with these, these large data centers to, uh, to expand their capabilities um, and help bridge the gap of some of these, uh, these power shortages that we're, we're dealing with in the industry. So, yeah, it should be an awesome event. Uh, that'll be uh, be hosted online uh, in partnership with Data Center Dynamics on September 23rd. I love it. Justin, uh, amazing recap. I am really, really encouraged right now. Be uh, granted, we are only two interviews in on day <laughs> one of, of Data Cloud. Um, but you're, uh, you're the second person to kind of highlight 
uh, kind of the sustainability yeah. and, uh, uh, initiatives um, that are going on specifically as it relates to power. So again, very, very encouraging uh, two interviews in uh, already uh, for Data Cloud. So thank you very much. Um, but specific to that, um, my last question to you is about uh, diesel generator maintenance and the importance of that maintenance. It sounds relatively innocuous to a guy like me in the, in the PR marketing, Absolutely. you know, but uh, but obviously very important. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit more about why uh, generator maintenance is so important? Yeah, I mean, it's no different than maintaining your car, right? I mean, you use uh -oh. your car every day, <laughs> right? You rely on it until it's not there, right? These generators require, you know, some level of maintenance to ensure that they're, they're ready to go. And uh, you know, these things are going to be there ready to, at, a, at a moment's notice in the event of an outage. So there's some very basic things from oil changes to battery inspections, you know, things you have to do to ensure that, you know, your unit is ready to go whenever, whenever you need it. Um, what we're doing is, is looking at advanced ways where you can ensure that your genset is going to be ready for you at, at a moment's notice, but minimizing the amount of time that we have to operate that generator to mm -hmm. ensure that that mm -hmm. unit is, uh, is good to go. So... There's, uh, you know, this is a very critical piece of equipment to not only data centers, but any industry that's, that's using backup power. Uh, and it needs to be, you know, there and ready to go at, a, uh, you know, in the event of an outage uh, so that it can be you know, continuing, continuing to run businesses or, yeah. or, or keep the lights on at yeah, a yeah. hospital. Yeah, you yeah. know, any of the things that these, uh, these important units are, are there to, to support. Um, so maintaining your genset is, uh, is very critical to to ensuring the reliability and and the longevity of it, you know these are expensive pieces of equipment. Yeah, you want yeah. it to last. Yeah, yeah. Um, so making sure that we're maintaining those for uh, for that long life cycle is going to be key. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like uh, it's like having um, you know life insurance. Nobody ever wants to have to use it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, exactly. But when but when you have to use it, it's great that it's there. Right. Uh, sorry to end this on the morbid. No, side no, no. <laughs> Justin, it's a pleasure speaking with you. Let's do this again sometime, huh? Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Dean. It was a great time, and uh, hope to uh, to see you around the show. Yeah, you most definitely will. Thanks, Justin. Thank you, and thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you real soon.